the first official TNT production of the 21 through 22 school year. We're your anchors, Spencer and Jace, and it sure is good to be here. It really is, Spencer. Hopefully everyone's year got started off on the right foot. That's right. How's your year been so far? It could be better. There's been a lot of students going out of our classes, which has slowed things down this year. I agree. Those who have been absent sure missed a lot, since things are constantly changing around here. Speaking of changes, let's see what the school has going on. You're up, Grant. For your school news, this week we have a full week of school with not much happening. If you aren't satisfied with your school pictures, though, retakes are this Wednesday. Next week, we have Thursday off for teacher in-service. It is also Fall Athletic Buffer Week. Stuco is putting together every Man of Tiger Week where students can participate in different activities. On Monday, there will be no games. On Tuesday is Tug of War. Wednesday is Volleyball. Thursday is Girls Only Powder Puff Football. On Friday, the 12th, is Fall Ball. That's all for your school news. Hi everyone, this is Kaylin, and here is your local news for this week. The mural movement has expanded its horizon, painting a new mural in green. The mural is dedicated in memory of Neil and Jacqueline Richter. Mr. and Mrs. Richter were longtime residents of the area. The family says that they are trying to come up with a way to honor Mr. and Mrs. Richter that was unique and special. They eventually decided on a mural. The mural shows things that the couple enjoyed and loved. So the next time you're passing through, go check it out. Welcome to World News. Let's get right into it. Up first, we have hit new heights and wealth, specifically the tech genius and entrepreneur Elon Musk. It comes as no surprise that he would now be worth over $300 billion given the recent rise in Tesla's worth. Next up, we're traveling overseas to England. The Queen has announced that she will not be attending the Climate Summit in Glasgow, Scotland. The release of this statement followed her first medical-related overnight stay in eight years. Queen Elizabeth is holding up remarkably well for being in power as long as she has. Though she will be missed, the monarch has prepared a video message that will be played for everyone who attends. That's it for World News. Welcome to State News. Here is your wonderful Kansas news. Deer archery season is through September 13th through December 31st, 2021. So get out there and get a deer, but make sure you dress warm. Kansas has been getting a little cold. Thanks, Jace. Do you remember how the football team has been doing this season? I don't remember all of the details, but Grant can tell everyone about it in sports. Two weeks ago, the volleyball team was eliminated to Augusta in Substate. That ended their 26-6 and season. Two weeks ago on senior night, the football team played Council Grove and won 66-8. Last Friday, they played against Scott City at home and won 28-0, and that wrapped up their season. Saturday, Cross Country traveled to Topeka for regionals. The girls got second, qualifying for state as a team. Individuals Lauren Smith placed third, Annie Larson and Lanny Slichter placed 11th and 12th, Gabby Coppice placed 15th, Tova Catlin placed 20th, and Alyssa Cowan placed 36th. This is the first team the girls have sent to state since the 2018 season. On the boys' side, Grant Smith placed second, and Justin Wright placed 11th, both qualifying for state individually. AJ Pearson placed 20th, Carson Flores placed 24th, Brett Hoffman placed 29th, Jace Brownell placed 36th, and JT Alton placed 39th. That's all for your sports. Ezra Gurney will have interviews. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it safe this year, but I hope that as a team we can get in the top five, and I hope individually I can be in the top 30. At State, we'll be looking out for Wamigo, and there's also a couple girls from McPherson we're going to be keeping an eye on. All of our girls finish really close together, which helps our team score a lot, so I would definitely say that our practices and our times are what makes our team really strong. At State, I hope to place in the top 10, as well as break the 17 mark, and uh, maybe pull along my teammate Justin and get him in the top 20. The competition I will have is basically all of Wamigo's team as well as a few uh, Topeka Hayden runners and an Augusta runner. Um, the team has been practicing very hard and we've had tough workouts and we just push each other all together and we even have some uh, runners that aren't competing in state still running with us. Well everyone, that is it for your first TNT of the year. Thanks for watching and we'll see y'all next time.